Hey, hey, it's Karen, and let's jump into how to set up your Facebook call to action button, okay? So this is the button I'm talking about right here, okay? And when you hover over it or you click this drop down, you'll have some options, test button, promote, view insights, edit call to action or delete call to action. Right now I'm just gonna click on the edit call to action so that you'll see how to set this up. Now you'll have a couple of options in here as well and you're gonna see how this looks, right? You can test it on how does it look on an Android, how does it look on an iPhone and how does it look on a website. Now the first choice you need to make is what kind of button. There are a a whole host of buttons that you can have there. I have chosen sign up because what I'm giving away is a PDF. But if you were giving a free consultation away as a way to capture a name and email, grow your list, then you might have the book now or call now or contact, contact us as one of your options or send message even. Use app most of us won't use that or play game. Shop now. If you had some type of uh, store, online store that you're promoting, you might have a shop now here that would take them right to your shopping page. However, again, most of us are in the coaching um, consulting realm, so that probably would not be the choice. Then we have what I've chosen, the sign up, which is what I'm using for a PDF. Watch video. I have used this before. So let's just say um, you have a video series. You might use that. If you have created a short video where you are um, actually talking about the PDF or the cheat sheet or the free offer um, that you have, then it's a short video maybe with the, with the opt-in boxes, right? The name and email box. You might want to use that. Send email. That probably isn't the best choice from the standpoint of growing your list or the learn more. So I would prefer you chose like watch video or sign up or book now, something that's very, a very specific call to action. You're telling them exactly what to do next, okay? So we're gonna click sign up as the one that I'm choosing. You'll see here website, right? So I have a URL in here for one of my free offers. It's one of the, it's a top 10 um, online resource PDF. So this is a very specific URL. You want to put in there the URL where the registration page lives. So wherever your opt-in box lives, if that's on your website, if it's inside a Weber or MailChimp or Lead Pages is hosting it, whatever it is, you want to put that URL in right here, okay? This URL. And then you choose where to send people. So I'm sending people to my website, which most of you will be sending people to a website. You're not going to be sending them to an app. Okay, and this is for iOS and then Android. So it's all going to be the same, right? We're just choosing the same thing in all three spots for a website, for iOS, meaning iPhone or Android um, smartphone. So we'll just click Save Changes here. And then I just want to show you a couple other things, right? So if you click the test button, it's going to take you as if you were a visitor to your page, right? And someone clicked on it, what would they see? So for me, this is where they're going. This is the link I had in the box. And this is the top 10 online resources to bring your coaching and consulting business online without breaking the bank. So yes, send me the guide, right? Um, so let's go back here. So promote, you can actually promote this. So if you want to put a little oomph, a little bang behind your opt-in, right? You can do that by just clicking the promote button. Now I have some errors here that I would have to address. The text is too long. Um, they're saying I have some punctuation marks that need to be adjusted. So I'm not going to promote that now, but this is where you would do that. And you can actually even promote it on Instagram. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then view insights, right? 
So you can see that you can track how many people are opting in each week. So this is just this week, right? So four signups so far this week. I'm recording this actually on a Monday and it starts on, what day does it start? Let's see. Um, oh, I guess just in the last seven days. So I can certainly promote that. This sign up right here, which is your analytics, this tells you how many people have registered in the last seven days. So for me right now, it says four. So typically I'm between like five and 15, depending on how many Facebook ads I'm running, what I'm running, what I'm promoting, am I promoting my page, am I not, right? So it ranges. So on average, I say I'm at about 10 um, per week. So that's pretty good considering this is just really like free traffic, extra traffic, which would equate to approximately right around 500 new subscribers to my email list each year. And that's by no paid advertising. So that's pretty exciting, right? So just think about your strategy behind what you choose to be your free offer here the way you choose the button based on what is the call to action, right? That's the whole thing, the call to action. What do you want them to do? You have to be so specific. What do you want them to do and what action do you want them to take? And then just make sure that you get this set up in the way I just explained and you will be all set. So that is exactly how you set up your Facebook call to action button. Hope you enjoyed that. It's so simple. Go get them and I will see you back in the Facebook challenge.